Electric eels are one of nature's most mysterious creatures and one of the deadliest species in the South American rivers and swamps they inhabit. Soon after birth, these air breathers develop electric organs running the length of their body. Their electric discharge of up to 600 volts can take out powerful predators and stun an adult human with brief, intense shocks. Electric eels have fascinated and puzzled scientists for centuries. Now a study provides new clues about the electric eel's deadly weapon. In 1800, German naturalist Alexander von Humboldt observed the spectacle of native fishermen in Venezuela collecting electric eels with the help of horses. The horses were herded into a pond filled with eels, provoking the eels to attack by pressing themselves repeatedly against the horses to discharge an electric current. Once the eels were exhausted, the fishermen could capture them safely. Scientists around the globe have doubted the accuracy of this famous story for more than 200 years. But a new study by Kenneth Catania, a biologist at Vanderbilt University, supports Humboldt's account. Catania observed how electric eels in an aquarium reacted to a partially submerged rod and plate. In videos captured during the experiments, the eels are seen ascending and electrocuting the rod and plate by bending their necks to maintain contact between their electric organs and the conductor on the plate and rod. The scientists also used a simulated predator with a conductive strip of LED lights on its surface to show how the eel's electric charge powers the light. Catania says his measurements of voltage and current show that the eel's attacks were most powerful when the electric fish reached maximum height during the strikes. He says his study shows that this reaction to threats is a formidable defensive strategy for eels, allowing them to deliver deadly shocks directly to a target.